Meanwhile, in the ongoing race to the White House, all bets are off tonight, especially on the Republican side, after all three remaining candidates backed away last night from a previous pledge to support whomever is the GOP nominee. The coverage, the controversy, and the fact that Indiana is in play come May 3rd has been great for talk radio and Tony Katz on WIBC. It needs to have a good showing, and then he needs to win in Indiana. It's not that WIBC's Tony Katz has ever been short on callers, but this race on the Republican and Democratic sides has got more Hoosiers grabbing their phones to weigh in on the radio right now. And Katz, a Jersey boy who'd bounced around the country and radio dial before settling into Indy, a city he loves, says there's no caller like a Hoosier. You've got people who are agreeing with you. There are people who are disagreeing with you. Then there are the people who are correcting you because they quite literally, they know the subject matter really well. And they're letting you know, well, Tony, don't forget this and don't forget this and don't forget that this once happened back in 1907. Oh, my God. You're, you're searching, you're researching to make sure they're right. And they're right. And then you just, you let them go. So, no, nothing typical here in Indiana. A self-described conservative, Katz says certain callers have been angry about the race, angry about Hillary, about Trump. But when it comes to anger, don't look at Katz. I, I think people have this idea that I'm, a, I'm an angry guy. I have the greatest life in, in the world, and I've worked hard to get here, and I don't shy away from it, and there are only great things ahead. And great things for Indiana and its winner-take-all May 3rd primary. Katz says the candidates and dollars will roll in with the hope of a win, and if no one wins enough delegates for the GOP by the convention this summer. What I do know is that the Republican Party has an opportunity to destroy itself completely for the extent that it isn't already. Um, with a choice they make in Cleveland. Make the wrong choice, and that's over. Let's start fresh again. Now, no surprise to catch his show each and every morning. Tony's got a lot more to say. We're going to post our entire interview with this story through the RTV6 app and on our official Indie This Week Facebook page as well. Talk